Welcome to our tutorial on using Trello to manage construction foundation project. Uh, as a construction professional, you know how complex and chaotic foundation projects can be. From design and planning to excavation and construction, there are uh, countless tasks, stakeholders, and deadlines to keep track of. Um, that's where Trello comes in. So Trello uh, is a powerful project management tool that can help you streamline your workflow, collaborate with your team, and stay on top of your foundation project. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to use Trello to manage every stage of your foundation project from initial planning to final inspection. Um, we're going to cover the basics of Trello, including boards, lists, and cards. So, um, Trello is a, a visual project management tool that uses board, list, and card to organize and track tasks and activity. It is a web-based platform that allows team to collaborate and work together on projects in a flexible and intuitive way. And now, uh, we're going to look at the features of uh, Trello. So, the first feature are, are boards, which are uh, represent a project or workflow. Uh, boards are the top level organizational structure in Trello and uh, least are those vertical columns on a board that we'll be looking at that represent a specific category or stage of work such as to do, in progress or done. And also we have cards. Cards uh, represent uh, individual tasks or activities. Cards are like the basic building blocks of a Trello board. They can contain text, images, attachment, and other information. And uh, we also have uh, the integration. We have power ups, which is used to link tools to create bespoke workflows. And it has custom field structure information uh, specific to the tax. And uh, we have automation. We also have um, orders that are not mentioned here that are not on the slide. Uh, we have uh, labels that enable users to categorize cards by type, priority, or status. We also have uh, due dates that allow users to set deadlines for tax and receive reminders. So we're going to jump into Trello to see how we can uh, manage a construction of a foundation. So um, this is actually uh, my dashboard for Trello. Um, so the first thing we need to do is to create a new board. Um, we can select the background. You can select any of this background. And uh, uh, the title of our board is uh, Foundation. construction so you can also start with the templates but we're creating from scratch all right so uh these are the lists as you can see we have to do we have to do it we have done uh we'll just make a little modification and add our own uh list so for this, I'm going to change it to in progress. In progress. I'm going to lift this down. I'm going to add another. Put on hold. Oh, sorry. Add list. And I'm going to add um, issues art list all right so uh, so as you can see to do a uh, task that needs to be completed for uh, foundation construction while in progress are uh, tasks that are currently being worked on and then we have uh, done which are completed tasks and on hold are tasks delayed or put on hold and uh, the issues, as you all know, 
uh, problems or concerns that needs to be addressed. And um, I will just um, use the Microsoft Project template to just pick out some list of tasks uh, that we will use as the cards. So, um, looking at this, uh, look at the So um, on this we have site clearance, stop soil excavation, uh, trench excavation, um, so what I'm just going to do, um, we'll start with the uh, excavate foundation site. So I will just use excavate foundation site. So, I'm going to add excavate partition site. And then I add another card for concrete. Let's just the fast for concrete foundation walls. And also add another card. Uh, install. Reinforce. Reinforcement. Bus. And uh, we're going to add the, uh, let's see. Waterproof. Oh. Foundation. Walls. So you can decide to add a take from this uh, list that we already have here. And then um, you use it to create your uh, list. So, but I will just be using this so that uh, the video wouldn't be long. And then let's just add inspect foundation. All right. So uh, we're going to work on this to do a bit. And then we'll start with uh, this. Let's just open the card. And then we'll describe excavate the F D N. Let me just uh, cite to it. All right, to a depth of. So, um, we'll be adding, uh, the description, excavate, foundation site, tree, depths of 10 feet, uh, and shore. The site is clear of debris and obstacles. And then we can just save. And we can also add our checklist. We'll create a checklist. For this, we create a checklist and uh, let's just add pre excavation checklist. Pre
Yeah. So on the pre-excavation checklist, I will just add, uh, let's say, three things. Verify. Permits. And the... Uh, Spectre. And lastly, site preparation. Okay. And um, also, uh, we are going to put in our dates. Can put in our due dates. Uh, let's say it's starting. This, let's say, start date. So let's say start dates uh, will be under Wednesday and the due dates will be on Thursday or let's just on uh, Friday. So you can set due date reminder at uh, two hours, one day before, two days before. Let's just... Uh, Put it uh, one day before, just the way it is. And we save. And uh, you can also add attachments, be it pictures. Uh, so, be it pictures, uh, you can also add location. So, um, let's add the uh, labels. We're going to use uh, red. Um, we're going to put uh, high priority. And also, I can just add maybe tax. So, uh, immediately we're done with this. Uh, uh, we can just... Uh, Go back. Um, so you could also add power ops if you want to. So, um, uh, we can just add the power ops that are, are relevant, uh, you know, to enhance your Trello board for managing a construction foundation project. You can consider adding uh, a calendar. You can just search for calendar. Yeah, so you could add this could add this, you could add any of this. All right, couldn't add, let's use the one for Trello. Okay. So we don't want to 
Okay, we can just sign in with Trello. Anyway, to avoid some of these things, let's just use the one that is in our little Trello already. Okay, so it has been added and uh, we can also add card repeater. Yeah, so card repeater automates recurring tax. So it depends if, uh, you know, so it's just like uh, it's ideal for you know uh, repeated tax like inspection or progress updates normally you you have to you know uh, bring in uh, updates and reports so you could add it if you want to and uh, there are other power ups that you could add if you go down below you see a lot of power ups and you use the one that uh, uh, relevant. You could use Butler Automation, which creates rules to automate common activities. So um, we're just going to lift this like this, and uh, now um, also when when you're done uh, with the checklist, we will have to add members to it. If you want, you can add members to it. You search your members. And then you add them and uh, you can also join as a member of the whole of this crew. You understand? So, um, yeah. All right. Now, we'll just be looking at uh, when should we use this card, this uh, cards in progress, done on hold issues. So uh, you are to use in progress. If you are to take this over here when the start, when the project starts, you use it when the excavation team has actively start working on the site. For example, if the crew is on site and excavation is currently taking place so um let's say um oh uh, you are done when the excavation is completely and um it's clear of debris and obstacles as uh we've stated here the site is clear of debris and everything. We can now mark all of this. That's okay. We're done verifying permits. We're done with the inspection. We're done with site preparation. Okay. And then we can now move this. Move this to done. Okay. So, um. Uh, if there are any issues also, um, uh, let's say if you encounter an unexpected uh, large rocks or utility lines that need to be addressed before continuing uh, with the excavation, you can now identify by using uh, some of these cards. So uh, do well to look at uh, Trello and see how it's going to be useful for you.